Hey guys, Anders here. I uh, just want to thank you guys real quick for the massive support on the channel recently with all the uh, you know top play series coming out and just uh, the videos that I've been putting up in general. You guys have really been uh, liking it a lot. Um, we're almost at 4,500 subs, which I think almost, I said a couple weeks ago that we were at 4,000. So, I mean, the fact that anyone's even watching this dead game anymore is actually shocking. So, I really do appreciate you guys' support. Um, and we go to the moon in Battlefield 6, I promise you that. Putting on a lot of uh, Battlefield 6 content. And uh, dare I say this will be the the center of Battlefield 6 information. I will try to make it that. But today's video is going to be just some general tips and tricks and, you know, maybe some map knowledge, stuff like that. Uh, just some things to help people improve their gameplay. Um, some general playstyle tips. Uh and just some things that I picked up along the way of playing Battlefield 5 and playing Battlefield games in general. Uh, first one is going to be, uh, first two actually are going to be movement based. Um, Battlefield 5, as we know, has really, 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 really restrictive movement. Um, so any sort of movement trick or skill gap defining um, mechanic or trick you can find is going to be very useful. So the first one is actually going to be um, pretty much like a legacy thing you can do in Battlefield. I'm pretty sure you can do this in Battlefield 3, 4, and 5. I'm not sure about 1 because you can't even strafe in Battlefield 1. So um, I, I never bothered to test it. So uh, what it is is uh, basically look at how you can jump corners first. So pay attention to the way the animation of my gun is and my weapon sights and the way I land. Initially, so I'm just gonna jump peek this and you just pay attention So you see my gun is doing a lot of you know a lot of this right a lot of a lot of this is going on when I fucking land right Oh my fucking god. Holy whoa watch this Yeah, I took that and said, dice, hey, get it, get it out of here. So basically how you do that is, um, say you want to jump peek something. Uh, you give it a running start, right? And then when you jump, you switch weapons and crouch. Switch weapons, crouch. Switch weapons, crouch. Switch weapons, crouch. It's as easy as that. That's all you have to do. Um, it takes a little bit of practice, but um, the people that play Battlefield 4 have, well, already know this. Um, but... I find that Battlefield 5 players really uh, don't utilize this a lot, and they should because it's extremely powerful considering that uh, your recoil, basically where you aim, is tied to your weapon's sight at all times. So landing like this actually means that you are aiming wherever your weapon's sight is flopping around to, which is terrible. So you can negate that entirely by running, jump, switch weapons, crouch. Jump, switch weapons, crouch. Um, you also notice that I slide a little bit when I land. Um, and that is because it's like a crouch jump, basically. Um, so I'll, I'll let you guys see, like, normal jump peak, right? I just stop. But when I do that, I slide a little bit. See that? Um, this can be useful for, say, there's a guy like at that pillar. I want to jump peek it and just slide into it a little bit. Make myself a little bit harder to hit. Stuff like that. Um, that's a really good general movement thing that I picked up uh, a while ago, but I feel like Battlefield 5 players really don't utilize it, and you should. Uh, you can do it on console as well, obviously. Um, another thing, um, speaking of console, is ice skating. This is just implementing the gr jumping crouch into sliding. So slide, jump, crouch. So it's kind of like a double slide, almost. It's really not that effective, but it can be useful for, you know, getting around corners quickly, um, and just making yourself... Harder to hit in general. So that all you do to that is just you just slide and then jump crouch. So you slide a little bit further. Um, that's pretty much it for the movement. But another thing I want to get the point across is uh, be creative in Battlefield. You have a lot of things to use to your disposal. Um, in this game to outplay people and most of it is honestly map map knowledge and awareness if you can utilize the maps and its angles to your advantage 
you're going to be exceptionally difficult to, to kill. And a good example of creativity here is... Um, you need to experiment with a lot of things on the maps. So, you know, maybe start a custom server by yourself, run around and just fuck around. You know, find weird jump up things, such as this. You know, you can find weird angles like this. The windows here, it's very strong because you can look in the church. You can look all down in here. People bunch up here and on that hill. So, this is just one example. Uh, I'll run over to the D point and show you, show you one. Um, just a reminder though, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button. Um, like I said, I plan on pushing out heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of hopefully information heavy uh, Battlefield 6 videos, including you know infantry mechanics, all mechanics, vehicles, weapons, you name it. Um, another, cool, another cool thing, this is just for devastation, obviously, but another cool thing you can do is you can jump up here. This is extremely strong, obviously, because this is a head glitch. You know, you can jump over here, and in this corner, you can even lean peek on this thing. Very, very strong. Um, probably the hardest one to do is you come over here. This is the D point. Um, this point is quite annoying, particularly if people are up here. But if you think this is annoying, just wait until I show you what I'm about to. So jump on this windowsill. Jump. You spam spacebar to, to vault. You can get up here. Um, this is... I hate people that know this. But, hey, everyone's going to know it now. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Sanders. Um, so, yeah, you can see that from here. I mean, you can preem everything. You can even, you know, lean peek in here through a little, you know, little blind action there. But the most devastating uh, part of this is you can jump up here and look down you into do the pretty much the main there. entrance of the D point. A lot of people come in through there. And, I mean, you're not going to... Listen, I don't care who you are, you're not pre-aiming this angle. You're, you're not pre -aiming, Unless I'm spotted, and you're some, you somehow have demonic map awareness. And you know that the only way someone can be here on the map is that they're peeking this. Which I would doubt heavily, because this on the map looks exactly the same as this on the map. So, basically, if you get pre-aimed when you're on that head glitch, they're fucking cheating. And you should report their account. But, um... Yeah, that's just very strong, and it just really brings the point home. You have to be creative in the way you play Battlefield. Use the map to your advantage. Another way you can use the map to your advantage is pre-aiming. Um, I'll try to explain what I mean by that. So, say, say you're this guy, right? And say you see him on the map. And I'll just, you know, hit him with this. Just so he's... Okay, one right through him. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll hit him with that just so he's, like, red for you guys. But they are here. And he's spotted on the map. You see that little white circle? Imagine, imagine he's spotted. So a lot of people would peek it, you know, maybe like this. Maybe, like, you know, they'll, they'll you know, kind of aim on him bef uh, after peeking. But if he's spotted on the map... All you have to do is, you don't even have to look at your screen. Make sure that you are, your crosshair is level, right? So chest level, not like, you know, on the ground or anything. Make sure your crosshair is level. And all I have to do is, I'm staring at my map. Notice my eyes. Notice where they are. I'm staring at my map right now. Notice that your player is marked by a triangle. Triangle has a point. Might seem really dumb for some people, but it, it works. I promise you, I'll show it right now. So, triangle is a point, right? All I have to do is, if you want a perfect premium on this guy, point your triangle at him, right? See? You can peek that a lot more efficiently. This works for, obviously, everything. This guy over here, right? This guy over here. I'll premium him through the fucking wall, based off of the map. Watch. I'm, I'm not even looking at my screen right now. I'm looking at the map, see? So, use that to your advantage. Um, you can do it really in everything. You can do an counter strike. You can do a counter strike is a little harder to do, but Battlefield in particular, because of the fact that it's a triangle, you can literally just pretty much wall hack pre aim things based off the map. Um, obviously, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it, you know, the more traditional way where you know the angle and you're not looking at your map, and you can just, you know, just hit them with one of these or. 
know, one of these based off of your just knowledge of the, the map and its angles, but that can really help you. Um, and it helps you from keeping a tight peek, because say I wanted to peek someone in uh, this head glitch here. Now, I don't have Ted, which is the trusty mannequin. Actually, let me go get Ted real quick to help demonstrate this. You want to keep your, you want to try to keep your peaks as tight as possible, and I'll explain that with trusty Ted here. So if you wanted to peek Ted on this head glitch, right? Cooperate, Ted. I own you. All right. So Ted's head glitching. Now, if I wanted to peek him, you can see his little head right there. You want to keep your peak really tight. Not not peeking too wide, but peeking them just enough to where you can see them. A lot of people, like, they come out all the way here. They come out all the way here. and that, you're, you're too far away from your cover now. So, you're probably just going to die. Unless you just, you know, hit Ted with a little two-tap to the head. Um, but in general, you want to keep try to keep your peaks, peaks tight. This guy's in a corner here. You don't want to, oh, wide peek him. Then fucking, you want to try to, you know... Hit him with a little tight 80-80 strafe and then get out of here. Now, there are situations where, you know, wide peeking something is going to be beneficial, but that is down to the situation. Say if you see someone spotted on the map, right? See someone spotted on the map. Say they're spotted and they can peek. They're spotted peeking here, right? They're spotted peeking there. You know that, say, say you're here, right? And they're spotted peeking that head glitch. You know that they can see, you know, all of this, blah, blah. But what's the, what's the most, what's the least expected angle you can peek that's still tight, right? I would peek him, you know, a little lean action, maybe, huh? Through here. I mean, that's going to be probably your best bet, peeking that guy. And it's, it's unexpected. And you expose less of your body while keeping yourself safe. Safer. Um, I mean, that's really just all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, actually, there's still one more thing. Um, I'll try to find audio. I'll try to find clips of me doing this, but, uh, people don't do this enough in Battlefield, and it's very, very helpful. Um, when you're listening for audio cues, um, you want to try to, this might sound dumb, but you want to try to look in the direction where you think the audio cue is coming from, even if you are, even if you're looking into a wall. So, I'll do this on stream sometimes, where I'll, I will completely sit still, and I'll just, like this, because you're staring right at where the sound is coming from, you're going to get a more, you're basically going to pinpoint that a little easier. So if I hear someone, you know, walking around on, say, here, you know, they're up on that ledge there, and I'll come here, I'll just stand still, and I'll look in the direction of that, and I'll preem it, right? So if I hear him, you know, I can come out here and preem that, because I heard him. Um, that is very useful. It only takes, like, one second to stop, just, you know? But you want to do it in a situation where you're safe. And, um, you know you have time to do it. But, I mean, that was really it. I um, just want to share a few things with you guys. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Um, follow me on Twitch. I stream every single day at 6 p.m. EST at twitch.tv slash Enders. Uh, sub, the, sub the YouTube channel. Like I said, we're going to the moon when Battlefield 6 comes out. I promise. Like, listen, I'm taking all you guys with me. The, the sweaty Battlefield community will not be ignored. If any longer. I'm, I'm over it. We're going to the moon. Uh, it's... I will Zuzu in Battlefield 6. You can't fucking stop me. You really can't. Um, so join the journey on that. Hit the sub button. And follow me on Twitter. I get really mad at DICE. And um, it's a great time on Twitter. I occasionally post uh, food porn. As you will see, uh, I'll, I'll put up a picture about that. I cook some... I mean, we're talking... Uh, we're talking prime grade marbled... New York strip steaks, right? Just flawless, medium rare. I, I didn't want to get into it, right? Look at the picture. Um, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.